Hello, this is a brief tutorial on how to generate a specular map from a uh, bitmap. In Photoshop, I use the diffuse texture uh, to start the file to bring into Crazy Bump. So, s some of the detail, some of the layers have been altered from the original diffuse map in order to create a map to start with in Crazy Bump. Once I'm in Crazy Bump, I can uh, load that map. And then let Crazy Bump do its thing. These are the default settings for the normal map. And you can click over to Specularity to see the default settings for Specularity. This takes a bit of trial and error to get the settings that you like. I have already um, saved settings that I want to use. So here are the normals that are generated for this particular object based on the map that I loaded. Different settings here, focusing on the medium detail and less on the fine and very large detail and this translates directly to the specularity settings and then there are uh, additional specularity settings here once you get a look that you like for the specular map you can use the save button to save the specularity to file and then you can bring that map into your material shader in 3D Studio Max so in 3D Studio we saved out a specular map as a targa and have loaded it uh, into this particular DirectX shader and I have animated the spotlight to go from uh, over to the left to up above this building this is a work in progress uh, file low poly uh, asset with the design originally done by Horia Dochu the light is arcing over the scene sort of from like a nine o'clock position to a twelve o'clock position and you can see the change in specularity this particular shader has settings where you can increase the effect of the specular light and in this case that's a bit too much uh, with zero level that's with no specular light whatsoever. At one it's not quite enough and of course the specular map itself can be adjusted with a higher contrast and different settings. I'm going to choose a level of two in here. So a couple other things that were done uh, in Photoshop this is the map that was generated from Crazy Bump and then I've gone in and moved the uh, ambient occlusion around added a few other layers to um, mask out some of the specularity and then selectively have added a few areas where I alter the amount of specularity that's in the map So this is a separate uh, file in this case from my master file. Uh, sometimes it's helpful to have it all in one uh, master PSD file. In this case for convenience I've um, saved it out as a separate specular PSD file. So again this is what was generated from Crazy Bump and this is what I'm adding to affect the specularity on the object. And this is saved to a target file the same target file that I've brought in here. So that is, this is our scene with no specular map and then with the addition of the specular map. Ideally uh, this is only a uh, way to get a specular map started. Work typically is done afterwards to emphasize other areas, de-emphasize some areas, basically going into Photoshop and working it until you get the levels of specularity that you like throughout the entire object. And that concludes this tutorial.